Welcome back to the channel. Got an interesting one for you today. Uh, today we're looking at this Chiapa Rhino uh, Snubby. For years, I have kind of slipped on this particular firearm. I wasn't that appealed by the um, physical appearance of it, but I started hearing more and more about it, and it prompted me to decide to try one of these bad boys out, and I am not disappointed. Um, the unique feature about this particular revolver is right here. The barrel is mounted low on the frame. The actual cylinder that fires the barrel, fires into the barrel, is the bottom cylinder as it's rotating. A uh, couple of interesting features about it. This particular um, firearm comes with a highly useful rubberized grip. Um, it is um, got a fiber optic looking um, front sight, um, the rear sight is actually a part of what is the cocking hammer. Now, this particular firearm shoots single action and double action, but the cocking hammer does not serve the, you know, the traditional function. I'll show you. Okay, we open the cylinder. We're good. Close it up. This is the single action mode, correction. This is the double action mode, okay? But if you want to uh, set it for a single action, you take the hammer, cock it, and it goes forward. Uh, you see it set the trigger, and there you have it. Uh, another thing interesting about this is the slide release, not the slide release. I'm so used to talking about semi-automatics. The cylinder release is located here, you know. Um, it is fairly accurate, accurate for its size. Um, the firearm itself is a it's a winner this is like a pocket pistol here now um just for comparison i've got my coat right beside it okay and as you can see they are similar in size okay and believe it or not they're about similar in cost, too. But, you know, you're getting what you pay for. Um, this particular firearm here, uh, compact revolver, for those of you all that are in less than free states where you cannot have more than 10 rounds uh, at a time in, inside the weapon, this is probably a good option for you. It's a good pocket pistol. I can see myself if I've got a quick run to the store or, you know, walking out to the mailbox, walking the dog, yard work, you just stick this in your pocket and you're fine with it. Um, it takes up very little um, footprint in my pocket. Now, here's the cool thing about it. As you see it here, as it comes from Chiapa, they give you this reasonably nice holster with it as well. Um, check that out. This came in the box. A uh, belt holster and it gives you two options of carry, a forward cant or a more of an upright. It is stencil right here. Yeah, stencil right here with the Rhino symbol on it. And although this is their two inch um, snubby, 
I probably will find myself acquiring the four or six or eight inch um, 357 Magnum because it shoots so well. Now, uh, it also has a indicator here high up on the frame when you cock that bad boy for uh, single action you can um, you can see here I'm cock it for single action pop right up okay it requires a little bit of a learning curve but not much and anyone familiar with or reasonably familiar with um, handguns uh, particular revolvers you wouldn't have any trouble with it but um, I um, finally um, decided to jump off and get one and I do not regret it the uh, Chiapa Rhino and um, if you look at their site they come in various different uh, configuration and finishes uh, I initially ordered the stainless steel version, but it took so long to get in. I decided to uh, go go along with this one, and I am not disappointed with it. It's the Rhino Model 200 DS, and I'll give you another look at it. Uh, kind of weird seeing the barrel down here, but not up here. But overall, it functions just fine. And um, right behind this video, I'm going to give you a, a um, sample of what the recoil looks like. It feels good. It feels more like a push backwards instead of a flip. And that is because the barrel uh, bore axis is low and um, it is um, it's much easier to shoot because you're not having to recover from that vicious recoil as much and uh, it's easier to shoot, thus easier to get off um, some pretty good follow-up shots. And um, anybody looking to add one to their collection, I recommend it. And like I say, those of you all in the less than free states, if you're looking for a valuable option for carry, I would endorse this. Thank you for your time and uh, look around on the channel if this is your first time here um, please come back again as we're gonna pick up the pace here and uh, put out more videos but uh, thank you for your viewing time be safe and thank you